Punakal was born on 3rd July 1926 in Alapi, known for its backwaters. He discerned his vocation very early in his life. After completing his college education from Tamil Nadu, he decided to join the Society of Jesus. His journey in the Society began officially on 12th December 1945, the year when the Second World War ended. He had heard about the poor living conditions of the people in North India. Hence, he joined the Patna province of the society to spend the rest of his life serving the people there. After his studies in India, the society sent him to the US for higher studies and he picked up his interest for education at that time. He had a pretty good childhood time and used to play plenty of games. He was very good in sports like hockey and tennis. It was because of his interest in sports, he emphasized on sports and games as essential part of education later when he reached Xavier's as principal in December 1961. Father Tom returned to India after his higher studies in the US and took over the mantle of the principal of the school. In the early decades, Xavier's was a very selective school. The selection process was very tough and not anyone could walk into the school. Since most of the students were part of the school boarding, they had plenty of time to be involved in various extracurricular activities. Father Tom, being an athlete himself, decided to give more focus on sports and games because he believed that those who get involved in sports while in school get a distinct advantage when they deal with life's problems in later years. Looking back, Father Tom believes that his best contribution to Xavier's has been developing a well-knit and highly motivated, enthusiastic teaching community who were passionately dedicated to the holistic upbringing of the students in their care. Before being affiliated to the CBSE, the school followed the Cambridge curriculum, which was very challenging. Most daily schools in those days were academic oriented, but Father Tom thought differently. Along with academics, he began to give importance to life skills and soft skills like the ability to do critical and creative thinking, problem-solving ability, interpersonal skills, ability to communicate, self-confidence, ability to handle stress and tension. He believed that mere book answers and even high marks would not carry anyone very far into life. As an educator, he encouraged the students not only to answer the questions but also to question the answers and even question the questions. Developing the kind of competencies and attitudes to deal with fast changing patterns of life is the real challenge in education. As an educational philosopher, it was his aim to ignite a fire in the belly of every student that will ignite other fires. In other words, he thought that education should be an effective agent for the transformation of the self and through that transformed self contribute a societal transformation. The school also had an excellent boxing team in those days and father has a vivid recollection of how some of our young Zavarians literally growing up through that boxing ring experience. As alone, they stood in the ring to fight and win. It was his lesson to everyone. He does not give up till the last ball is bowled or till the final whistle is blown. As the longest serving principal of our school, he followed the difficult goal of making everyone a winner. Most schools, even today, drop out students who they are not confident would clear the board examination so that they could boast of 100% results. But Father Tom thought differently. He would allow every student to appear for the board examination and took it as a challenge to ensure that they cleared the exams. Even when some failed to do so, he was not worried because for him it was a sign of right policy. 
He was also confident that after having gone through the education in Xavier's, no student would at least fail in life. He thought that making butter out of butter didn't deserve much appreciation. As principal, he never encouraged competition where only one emerges the final winner. He discouraged dog-eat-dog -dog type competition, which is not only immoral, but also harmful to the world. As principal, Father Tom laid foundation for the right kind of academic award system, which is followed in Xavier's even today. We don't follow top academic awards where only top three students are recognized, but he followed a system where a good number of students reach a standard which is not very easy and were given merit certificates. In this way, several students got such certificates. According to him, expanding appreciation and giving credit is the best way to develop the potential of every student. In those early years, it was necessary to set up systems, to establish high standards and to maintain compassionate discipline in order to provide quality assurance to the school. Other than being an eminent educationist, Father Tom has remained steadfast as the champion of the marginalized and the underprivileged. Shedding its elitist image, he opened the gates of St. Xavier's for the voiceless and the powerless towards the latter part of his principalship. Spearheading Mrs. Indira Gandhi's slogan, Harivi Hatao, on the campus, he ignited the young Xavierians to grow up as compassionate and socially responsible citizens. The government of India recognized the true potential of Father Tom and invited him to take up the chairmanship of the CBSE from 1980 to 1987. He also served as member of several national commissions like National Commission for Teachers 1983 and National Commission for Review of National Education Policy 1987. He was appointed consultant to the Ministry of Human Resource Development to design and prepare a turnkey project to set up the National Open School from 1987 to 89 and was appointed chairman of NOS from 1989 to 92. As its founding chairman, Father Tom reframed most rules of the formal system to meet the needs of the learners of open schooling most of whom are adults who lost their first chance and dropped out. NOS gave them a second chance for education and through it for life. While keeping the academic standards of the course, open schooling provides a lot of flexibility. Father Thomas Kunakul was given the National Award of Padmashri in 1974 by the President of India and in 2006, he was given Honorary Fellow by the Commonwealth of Learning, Vancouver, Canada. Presently, he is an educational consultant, writer and animator. As an educationalist, Father Kunangal was a man of great vision, who not only mentored the school during its infancy and childhood days, but also initiated progressive changes in it. The future of every individual depends on the kind of guidance you receive as a child and teenager. In the same way, St. Xavier's owes to Father Kunankal for the upbringing he gave to it during the early days of its existence. One looks at the lives of the great gurus who have been in this land right from the time of Gautam Hari Drumat in the Chandogya Upanishad to Mahatma Gandhi, Ravindranath Thakur and so many others. The common features that we find in them are all about a complete balance between the moral, the sensory and the intellectual and that allows the inner greatness or goodness within our souls to come out. For me personally, Father Kunankal embodied exactly the same ethos. And so he exposed me to those ideas, those thoughts 
that transcend the tyrannies of geography and time and rank amongst the teachings of the great Guru, for which I shall be eternally grateful to him. What little I am is largely because of him. Thank you. I had the distinct privilege of meeting Father Thomas Kunaku in the year 1970. I went with my father, who was a passionate defender of the rights of minorities to administer educational institutions and had appeared in most of the leading cases with reference to minorities being able to exercise their fundamental rights guaranteed under special provisions of the Constitution. Father Kunakal was extremely affable, but there was a certain degree of awe about him. He inspired awe. I was admitted to the St. Xavier School on merit, and thereafter I used to see him leading us in prayer every morning. He was disciplined, calm, completely unflappable, and always was able to bring the best out of students, but more importantly, had a perspective which was unselfish, tall, ideal, and he lived his life that way all the time. He did become a distinguished principal of the St. Xavier's High School, but apart from that, he later became a chairman of the Central Board of Secondary Education and brought in substantial reforms in our educational system. But deep down, he was an eclectic Christian, a man of faith, wisdom, compassion. In him, we have found the best that the Society of Jesus stands for. Father Kuranko, very warm greetings from cold Michigan area where I am today. I greet you on this very special occasion of 75 years with Jesuit Society. Your compassion, your wisdom, your knowledge base and a practical approach when you connect with so many of us has helped build strong individual positive attributes within us. They have strengthened the foundation which has helped us to carry on through life with an approach which is both positive and constructive, with an ability to find joy in being connected with others and an ability to recognize goodness and perhaps even nurture it in some way if it is possible. And that we have gained from your practical experiences and interactions with us. I feel grateful, I feel joyous for celebrating this special occasion and I wish you all the best for the years to come and may many more of us continue to benefit from you. Thank you again, Father Kunak. Father Thomas Kanunkal was an able educationist and administrator who within a short time of taking over as principal in 1962, raised the school to very high standards of performance in multiple spheres and made it a top school of Delhi. I would not be wrong in saying that Father Kununkal is the rock on which the edifice of efficiency, trust and values as epitomized by St. Xavier School Delhi has been built. The earlier generations of Xaverians like me, who were fortunate to have been guided by him in his role as principal, will remain ever grateful for his guidance and blessings. We pray that Father Tom Kununkal continues to be healthy and happy 
so that our alma mater can continue to thrive and be blessed by his enduring presence. God bless Father Thomas Kanunkal. God bless St. Xavier School, Delhi, so that it continues to churn out excellent students as envisioned by Father Kanunkal and contributes effectively as an abiding mark of trust and positivity in our country and society. Jai Hind. I spent very memorable years of my life at St. Xavier School, Delhi from 1962 to 1970, that is from class 4 to class 11. And all throughout my stay in school, Father Kurankal was our principal. I was always mesmerized by Father Kurankal's towering personality. He had this unique ability to command respect from the teachers and students alike without being authoritative. He was immaculate wherever he spoke and he did not mince his words. With his leadership qualities, dedication, commitment and motivation, he took the school to new heights even though the school was in infancy at that time. He also had an immense impact on my overall development and personality. I can proudly say that we were extremely fortunate, we were extremely lucky to have Father Kurankal as our principal. In fact, he is the best principal one could ever have and it's still a joy to meet him.